Michelle. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday to each and every one of you guys. We appreciate you guys joining us on this beautiful Thursday morning. How are you doing? How is everybody doing this morning? We are live, live, live. Yadi Belly is live. Live in the kitchen. We're live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yadi Belly is live. Yadi Belly TV live. What do we Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yadi Belly is cooking. Cooking in the morning, we're cooking in the evening. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yadi Belly is cooking. Yadi Belly TV cooking, cooking, cooking. Now, mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Big up on yourself. And as soon as you guys hop on, just identify yourselves and the city or the state that you are watching from so we can big up your neighbor what no 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 big up, no no neighborhood neighborhood is a word you are big up just big up the I place will not the place appease, where them come from sorry i will not appease you jamaican men and my girl are violate you violate just big up the place where them come from insecurities you understand what kind of what kind of no 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 we're not changing up the websters official word no mm -hmm. these things are not right mm -hmm. good morning good morning neighbor good morning. donna good morning to you girl for saint lucy in the house florida is in the house hey, hey. Baby, baby, come on yes, come on Oh, let us apologize for not coming on Tuesday. Good morning, Oshare. Where are you watching from, Oshare? I forgot. Connecticut. Connecticut? Connecticut in the house. Ah, Hartford. Right. What, what's the city that you're going to? Bridgeport. Bridgeport in the house. Hey. If you're in Connecticut, guys, be sure to join Yard Belly TV with other comedians like IT and Fancy Cast, Lemon, Pretty Boy Fly and all of them. Boast, boasty boy. Boasty boy. boy Fly and all of them in Bridgeport, Connecticut. When? November 26th. Mm -hmm. Yes, where? I do not know. <laughs> run <laughs> one place, run a one path. Run one place, run a one path. But it's a little late. So you can send him a DM for the details. That's your hometown, Bridgeport. The Donna, you have to go up there <laughs> for Thanksgiving. You have to do that. <laughs> yes, guys. Oh, um, yeah, as Hoppy was saying, we apologize for not coming on on Thur Tuesday evening for dinner live. You know, we ended up getting caught up, duty called, and so we were unable to do it. Right, but guess what? We here today. We here today. Cheryl Williams, good afternoon. Cheryl, where are you? You are in Europe somewhere. Let us know where you're logging in from. Since it's afternoon for you over there, big up yourself. Thanks for watching and joining. All right, so today we're going to be making London, Eng London, England. Good morning, London. London's in the house. England is in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Guys, and you bye -bye every night. if anyone needs themselves a Yardy Belly t shirt that says Tonya Handbag Fashion, and I believe it had or has the Jamaica map in the back, let us know. We could get you one at an affordable rate. Just click on the shop now button. No. <laughs> We can get you one at an appointment. All right. So, all right. Let me show you guys what's up for breakfast since that's why we are here this morning. So, today we're making a very, very famous favorite dish um, from Jamaica. A very um, popular breakfast item. Fry 
dumpling. If there's anybody that doesn't eat fried dumpling, woe be unto them. Woe be unto them. When it is going to hell. A joke. <laughs> <laughs> a joke. Wow. A joke. A joke. A joke. A joke. But for real though. So we have here some flour. This is around three cups of flour, I tell you. And, you know, the usual way in which we normally prepare our dough for frying dumpling. I'm going to do the same thing, which is I'm going to be adding my baking powder. Let me set the camera down so that you guys can see. Oh, I see, I see. I see, I see. Send the blind man. The blind man. And I hear. I hear. Said the day. Said the death. And I'm walking now. Said the cripple. Since Jesus. Jesus. Come on. <laughs> Learn all right. Good morning to you. Much love from the Big Apple. New York's in the house. Hey, Brooklyn's in the house. Hey, and since we were talking about a comedy show in Connecticut on the 26th, the comedy show will be going to Bronx, New York on the 27th of November. So it will be a whole lit thanksgiving weekend up there in the the, the another tri-state here <laughs> new york new jersey in the, jersey, in, the in, mm -hmm. in the in the boroughs yeah so guys be sure to check it check it out if you're up there claudette bt good morning to you big up yourself lana right good morning to you mm -hmm. all right talk to them oh guys we just want to make out point out one thing um hold on let me turn the camera around for just make them see this one so I just want to point out one thing this morning, guys. Yeah. Um, the flower dash up on our <laughs> Why? <laughs> the flower dash up on our No, no, what's so funny? You know? <laughs> no, no, funny. And anyway, then back to the food. The flower <laughs> joy. The man, I just the camera, but we do speak. To, to make corny jokes. All right, so Claudette BT, big up yourself. 25 Connecticut and 27 Bronx. Yes, 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 that's it. And then, if you're in New York again, he'll be speaking at a church in, in the, the Bronx. Bronx on the Sunday morning, which is the 28th. So, yeah, I'm going to be at the Love and him. Fellowship Christian Center. The Love and Fellowship Christian Center in the Bronx. 4460 Baychester Avenue. 4460 Baychester Avenue. Be yeah. there or be, or square. be square. All right. Cheryl Williams says send the information, please. Yeah. Yeah, just follow up. Follow Yardy Belly TV on Instagram and you know the flyers will be posted there or are already posted there so you can get the details of yeah. that all right so yeah we have three cups of flour here i'm going to be adding a generous amount of baking powder because club girl because you are generous because it needs to be fluffy so i'm adding one tablespoon one heaping tablespoon heaping tablespoon of flour. A heaping tablespoon of flour. Plus my always put that little bit more for good measure, should I? Yeah. Beep. Can't lose. We can lose. Can't but lose if you put too much you can you can just I think I put too much. Anyway. Alright, so now we're gonna be putting some salt. Mustard vinegar pepper. <laughs> One teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. And some butter. Oops. One, two tablespoons of butter. And you're using what kind of butter, please? For today's butter, we're using Earth Balance, which is um, a plant based butter. And what I always do is after, you know, washing your hands very clean, which my hands are clean, I just go in and distribute the butter throughout the dough. And this helps to, you know, introduce a little bit of air to the 
to the mixture, right, making fluffy. it fluffier. Fluffier. Mm -hmm. Amos says fluffy to the world, right? By doing this, it makes a big difference as to the texture of your dumplings. Yes. All right. All right, so now that the butter is distributed, we're going to go ahead now and add a little bit of, I don't know if most people do this, but I add a little bit of sugar. I like when you add a little bit of sugar. It, it makes it, it brings out the um, umami flavor. Umami. The umami is a Japanese term for like a balanced flavor. You know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of salt, a little bit of sweet. No, no over sweeten it, you know, but just make it nice and umami. Mm -hmm. It's like a taste and you say, oh, mommy. Mm -hmm. um, because we want to use up our white sugar that we have. Which in, we don't really buy white sugar. Yeah, but we did get it, so we just use it. And if we get it, we'll take it. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Salt. Mustard, vinegar, pepper. <laughs> oh, sorry. Salt, butter. A little sugar and the baking powder and you're good to go. Oh, a question to ask. Mm -hmm. oh. How did it feel to dash the flour this morning? It felt very bad. Real? Mm -hmm. Explain to the people what happened because they would like to. You don't know what happened, man. I just lift up the, the bottle and the cover of the bottle came off. And thank God the, the thing never break because I'm skilled like that. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't skill with dash the flour. <laughs> That may I try to tell you. All right, guys. So I'm adding some sweet corn, previously frozen, flash frozen sweet corn to the Good mixture. morning, Tanya Johnson. Tanya in the house. Florida is in the house. Yeah. And the reason why we're not making using cornmeal is because it changes the complexity of the dumpling if you use cornmeal. You could also take this the sweet corn to your food processor and pulse it a little bit to break them up, break them apart if you want to. You know, because again, this is not fritters. This is dumpling, so we're gonna make, need to do and make it like tight. Mm -hmm. You know, so those are two of the reasons why we're using this. So I just wanted to break the monotony from say white flour, sauce of white flour. Even though you know we're tradition Jamaican traditional um, dumpling is white flour, we wanted to break the monotony a little bit. This is your part. Any pot you want, you can get it. Any pot you want me, give me girl. Feel me girl, let me see me girl. Feel the cock and night, want see me girl. Man, I'm cock up here, want see me. All right, so let's just get back to the question at hand. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the face of the person who dash away the flower. Right there. See her cloudy? She was, hey, remember me telling you something. She frightened, see? She frightened, she frightened, she frightened. Because this thing turned over, because we never want the thing to break. Oh, you never want the cup, the pot break. Mm -hmm. But true, she not normally make such mistakes and make turn up nothing turn over. Babes, you don't have to test it, baby. Guys, do you have to test? Do you have to test flour, cornmeal, um, dumpling every single time you make yeah, it? Yeah, I'm feeling. It's clouded, believe your Lord. Too much baking powder, and then you know, all your dumplings come out when you have too much baking powder. I don't know, I don't make dumplings. And then when you break it, you see the actual grease. Mm -hmm. Grease, yeah, like it suck up the oil. What kind of sucking you are talking about around here? But see, uh, these things must not be happening in my home. I'm telling you that. <laughs> I'm telling you that. So this morning, we are making we are making um tin mackerel. And I don't know about you guys, but there are times when we just want full hundred tin mackerel. Yeah. Tanya Johnson, <laughs> we don't leave that load, Tanya. Tanya make trouble. What is it? Eh? Eh? What is it? She make trouble. Um, <laughs> well, on there. Because you took up all of the corn. No, I did not. You took up all the corn. Guys, so this is how the dough is. You can see all the corn. You need it, it and we, we want it to be tight, you know, like a like a dumpling dough, not like a fritters dough as I, as we said. So this is why it is this way. I mean anybody anybody and them and them mama can make corn fritters. Corn fritters. You understand? Mm -hmm. But we want to make corn fried dumpling. You understand? That's what we want. Mm -hmm. So 
these are the ones that she's making for her husband to try. I mean, you're making for? Mm hmm. No, say, you're, you're a good woman, you know, it's here, right? That's she's a good woman. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's a lot of time, babe. I really can't find something. <laughs> I say go, man. I say go. I mean, I'm here for it. So we just, we, at the end of the day, you want these to be tight so that when you're going to make them round and then slightly dented. That's all? Babe, you don't know nothing about Friday. Wow. You just threw me under the bus like that. Like, just bam. You don't know nothing about Friday. I'm the dumpling. I feel hurt. I feel very hurt about this. It can round up, it still can round even with the candy knife. <laughs> I mean, if it can round, you just make it as close to round as it possibly can. You understand? She, and this is how you do it, guys. For those who are not from Jamaica, if you have never had Jamaican dumpling before, once you make your dough, you you're gonna try to get it into a little ball. The more you the more you round it up at the tighter it's gonna be in there, you know that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're pushing all the corn to the center of the door. Another tip for them? No. It's you supposed want to it just round be? normal and, and stop now. That, 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 ball, that, that dumpling ball that we are making too, too long. This is a too much of a long time for... Look how long. Because. About 15 minutes. You never know, get it perfect like a perfect round dumpling be. What do I make? Because I'm a so round dumpling still. Like with the corn, it's going to be like different, you know? Let me put it in the pot. It's not hot. That's why I'm wasting time. Oh, Lord. It's hot. I'm going to drop one, one, one piece of something in there to make sure say, it, um, it makes it when it's hot. It's a See? bubble. Oh. Hey, that, that, that's something that I want, bubble man. So what we're doing now is she just making more dumpling. Hey, <laughs> what a today a day day of the day for Miss Hops. Eh? What a something if the camera did drop in at the ad pot a while ago. <laughs> eh? What a something. But Guys, nothing. pray for us. Yeah, that. while we pray for ourselves. God, today is not the good day for all these things to be happening to us. The camera just jumped off of the tripod a while ago, like boom. Like somebody owe something. And it jumped off. Alright, there we go. So guys, look on our pants. See where the flower? Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh good every <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Guys, you guys, I'm really not trying to make no joke out of it. Leave me alone. I was just saying, you know, you get, my girl, you know, say it's a long time since I've heard or have you had any type of mishap in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I mean, I, it took me by surprise. I was like shocked. I was like, what? What's happening? Is either all age or Kiki in her something? You know, but I'm going to pray for you. Father, <laughs> please. Say Claudette said, Claudette VT said, I'm not used to you making a mistake. Let me just pray for you right now. May I lay on you. Lord, please save the dumpling queen from dropping flour <laughs> all over the place. I pray Come. that your hands will never drop a dumpling again, a flour. It's not hot. Babe, you put it in there now? No, it's not hot. Why you put it down from high then? Why you never turn it up? Oh. I'm done. Sure, say in Jesus' name, amen. Sure? <laughs> wow. <laughs> sure. You know we have to pray for them, wow. sure. We have to pray for them. You understand? And we have to lay hands because if we don't lay hands or something else, we we'll lay. Lay in the hands. Do I sure love the trouble, but we. Say what? But we. <laughs> Tanya Johnson, everybody, everybody say amen. They know you need the lanes of the hands. Tanya, go to Lay me. in the hands. My <laughs> God. You have to pray, and you have to pray long and do it like, like real Christian. And Lord, uh, Lord, you have to say the ah, please uh, make the hands then the slip. Uh, that the flower buckle drop again. Uh, 
Lord, <laughs> preserve the flour <laughs> and make the dumpling round. In Jesus, I said, a Jesus, I said, a Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> Elizabeth! You know, El Elizabeth. Good morning, good morning. You know, say Elizabeth, don't comment until the prayer. E Elizabeth, you have not commented until the prayers. Elizabeth, you're a troublemaker. You're a troublemaker, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but these are the the corn dumplings, and guys, it, let me tell you. Nowadays, you have to consider ways of just augmenting and and changing up your diet to an healthier version of whatever you're used to. And so, them are the little ways, you know, the little ways, ways where we want to add little stuff. So, you know, just eat the source of, source of raw flour. Because raw flour come like a way, you know, that them used to use piece of um, posters back in Jamaica when dancer keep. Them use it piece of poster back in Jamaica. The source of raw flour and water. Wow. So, you can imagine when that go down your stomach. So, the sweet corn or you could use um, green peas or any other such elements they can add a wealth of difference to the pot so me like when me see you so now you want to bring the flame right back down to the, the levels me go make some selfish with us here i want to make me hungry and <laughs> take long <laughs> sure sure then put little sweet corn in it now put little sweet corn in it Put little sweet corn in it, in the sawfish fritters. All right, let me show you what I'm going over here. So now, so guys, you are you take out this, you know? Get it planted. Hmm? You like butter bean? Necessary. If it's necessary. So sometimes when we make tin mackerel, we we'll put butter bean, but I don't know what I'm going yet. So this morning we're using the, the famous, yeah? This is the famous. All right, so I use that this morning. And I have onion. And Jamaica, why Jamaicans say onion? Anybody ever heard Jamaicans speaking about onion and they say onion? I don't know why, but it's part of our, our, our accent, Jamaican accent. So I have onions, I have a tomato, I have jalapeno. I personally like jalapeno. We have um, scotch bonnet as well, but you know, we have jalapenos there. I'm going to use my, my famous garlic paste, if I could find it. I don't know where it is, baby. You don't print them look real, guys? How oh, they look? They look real? Oh, they look fake. The dumpling is real. And guys, you can see some of the corn them unruly and escape. <laughs> they're not they're not having any of it. <laughs> they want they're not giving. They don't want any part of it. <laughs> These corns are not giving These at These are the unruly ones that will not. But the dumpling name look good, man. Mm -hmm. Linda Grumps, good morning. Good the dumpling morning. look good on the camera. It look good. Uh, Donna said it look good. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. What should I do with these corn? Should I make them continue frying and yeah, yeah, eat them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We eat them as fried corn. Okay. Oh, babes, I cut, I cut on the, 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 the on, on the, the cutting board that you don't want me to cut on. Hmm. So you feel about it? But, but, but the other cutting board broke, you know. Mhm. Mm we need a cutting board. Let's go cutting board shopping today. Nice. Ah, <laughs> Any excuse to go shopping? Let's go cutting board shopping today. <laughs> oh, we need to go um, light shopping today too. Solar light shopping, right? Right. Uh, we want to make sure so the dumplings soak because they're browning rather quickly. So let me turn and, down yeah. the volume. Why everything fry? I want some bakes. I can't eat no fry too much grease mess up my stomach. Mm. So, so Linda, what you could do, you know, Linda, is just spray some cooking spray on a baking sheet, and shape bake. them out into the farm and the dumpling, 
and just put them in the, the oven and make them bake. You understand? Put butter, rub butter up on the top of them mm -hmm. and just make them brown nicely. Because they have, them have um, baking powder in them. Mm -hmm. Explain that for to me, darling. Here. Have you heard him? I think you heard him. Yeah, you could do the same thing and just put them in the in the toaster oven or the oven and make them. Are your air fryer? Are ah, oh, there you go. If you have an air fryer, boom, air fry them. But nothing like some pot fried pie dumpling. <laughs> 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 but I feel you, girl. I feel you. Delicious. Just want the doctor ordered fried dumpling. Just. One. <laughs> <laughs> I use a deep fryer. Okay, but not as sweet as fry. Mm -hmm. The pepper does smell nice, in. You mean the, the jalapeno? Mm -hmm. Guys, so these are our testers. I don't know, understand how it ended up being so much. Usually it's one or two fry for test. But hopefully they're good so that it's not a wasted batch. So we can taste them from now? Yeah, when we take it out, you test it. Hallelujah. Feel the spirit. But I do this because sometimes, you know, because you I, I don't go by any measurement. You want to make sure that if it has too much salt, you can try to counteract that. If it needs more baking powder, you can counteract that. If it has too much, you can add a little more flour. You know, just, yeah, this is just how I prefer to do it because I do not go by measurement. After a while, I need to mentally, you know, most times I just do it mentally and it works out, but. Because you're, you're, you're a mental take, person. We're not taking a check. We're not taking a chance. Good morning, Kathleen. Good morning, Enram. Dig up on ourselves on this year Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. It's a great day to be alive in the land of the living. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Okay. And we trust in God right through the storm of life because the storms are raging. When the storms of life are reaching, stand by me, stand by me. You see the coins? These are the coins. Everywhere you see Let me ask coins. a question this morning, babes. Yes, babe. Go ahead. How long does a husband have to be romantic during a, a, a relationship? I didn't know that there was an expiry date to romanticism. But what about the fact that you know, we, say for instance, we married long now and we do the same thing over and over. What new, what is there new, you know? You have to create uh, ways of making it new. Even if it's the same thing, you have to find either a different environment, you understand? So, or... because we eat the breakfast on the patio. <laughs> oh, 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 breakfast coming out. That's no, about... a thing about ways to be romantical. Well, yeah, that's simple. Nice and nice little vibe outside and a nice glass of wine on, on the on the Glass patio. of wine? Glass of wine. So all wine well, in a Well, a breakfast, so no. All wine in bulk? A, a, a nice glass of mimosa. Mm -hmm. And some fresh cut flowers. Hey, different things set the mood for different people, you know. So guess what? Bless, bless, for, bless 144 says... The most high is about mono, monotony. Mo, monotony. The most high is about monotony. I don't understand that, but we just want, you know, like you're with somebody and you want to, you want to, you know, keep the, the fire going, that passion going, you know, want engaging in the same activity. You know, because some, let me tell you something. A lot of women out there, in 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 who, who been with a person for a long time, them 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 have it. They say them them husband boring. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's true. Some of the man them really, because men men are like habitual creatures. You know, we as as bless as um 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 bless forty four say men are are monoton monotonous. We we do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. You know, but not necessarily women. Women want a little difference every now and then. Mm -hmm. But guess yeah. what? Sometimes women are not only women. Sometimes one party expects that the other is gonna know what they want without expressing it. But you know, 
So where you want, babe? So where you want? Sometimes, you have to express it. Sometimes it needs to be explicitly expressed. I mean, mark you, we would prefer for it to be sensed, you know, or for like them to just... Like read your mind. Not read your mind, but just, just over time, after being with somebody for a certain number of years. If you're with somebody with, for over 20 years, you're assuming that they would kind of get to know the things that make you tick. The things that trigger a good, you know? So, hold on, hold on, you know? a tick, a tick, may I make a tick? Yeah, a clock. <laughs> 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 so, you need to send certain, be, be attentive, pay attention. You understand? Be observant. Right. Stuff yeah. like that will make you without the, the spouse saying, you know, it's so like when you surprise me with some ice cream before a stroll on the boardwalk. Are you knowing me you like know? when you buy a coach bag? Yeah. <laughs> That's just very surprising to me. <laughs> you buy a Dolce and Tabanza. All right, guys. The moment of truth. <coughs> me over here, so I cut up seasoning, so just to make them know what I do. Truth, and anybody upon the live can tell me what's the, what's what when was the last time your spouse surprised you with something or you guys did something different you know you don't know, have to be explicit you don't know, have to talk on a business if you don't want to you know but when last did your spouse do something extraordinary last week thursday Jesus. <laughs> guys can you believe he initiated us going um to this river nights it's a it's a live music outdoor vibe and he was actually on the radio until seven but we still push through and go even though it ends at 8 30. and it was it was a good little vibe you know you know just chilling they had some food trucks out there nice live band good music baby baby what the dumpling tastes good guys look at the dumpling mm -mm. Look at the coin. Mmm. Beans, me not hide and sell. Not because you're my wife. Mmm. But I need to add nothing. 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 You know what you say? Mmm. Oh my God. <laughs> I know all of your spouse too. <laughs> sure, sure. Sir, just make me focus on the dumpling, because Sir, I get a way. Sir, I feel a way about it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, the dumpling, them, I shell them the whole for him. Yeah, I think you guys need to make it this. Up. It don't need nothing to say. Watch it. Look on this, guys. Look there. Sweet corn. The sweet corn have the right amount of sugar. Can them burn up. Are the corn them this for burn up? Mm -hmm. I put some on it. Them look like look up, them look like some small roach. <laughs> Put the burn can on it. Mmm. Oh my god. I don't feel like I need a little bit more sugar. Mm-mm. I'm -mm. not saying it's not sweet. My god. You don't need no sugar. Mm -hmm. You don't need no sugar. Alright. So here I have my seasonings all cut up. Skeleton. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tomato. Thank you. Onion and jalapeno. All right. Guys, anybody think... Who, who, who said we must put um, the butter bean? I don't pay attention to clarity, you know? I don't pay attention to that. Anybody? Both from the butter bean. We are take both. Yeah, they call an election. Vibes boss, big up yourself, you know, vibes boss. Remember me tell you, you know, vibes boss, we are deal with boss, it, you know. Big up yourself. The wife is a big up yourself here, so we deal with it. West Palm Beach is in the building. Remember me tell you, Caribbean yeah. Radio set the place and Elizabeth, set the church. Let's so so. Good morning from SA. Is that what? San Antonio? S SA, yeah, yeah I, I think so. I think a San Antonio, Africa. Texas. Me no know where. Where is that? Um, let's know. Because we, we, we're assuming a lot of SAs over here. From the other day, I'm using, I'm using this garlic ginger paste that we made. And, and it has been my go-to. So, so and every time we use fresh garlic. But sometimes we have to use up some fresh garlic. You know? 
you know the something because you want the thing to really and truly have that that vibe you know that real vibe yeah and I tell you the truth right now about now tin mackerel I do it you know my girl by the way where the where the where the okra them when they have in the fridge oh. them spoil yeah I'm hurting them man I feel mama feel it to me heart man I tell you the straight truth Okra no fi spoil in my house, man. You understand? Cause man need okra fi establishment and build up strength. You see me? Mm -hmm. So if you see the okra them are spoiled, just put them in our rice. Make all okra rice. You understand? You understand? Show them a dough, please. Show them. Some people can scare me. Here is the dough. Guys, this is the. Sweet corn dumpling. Hey, Mr. Vibes, you have to make this. You have to make this vibe, boss. May I tell you, sweet corn dumpling. Just put some, some sweet corn in at the dumpling. The thing shell. The thing is so shelly. Shelly. It are popping. It's shelly. You understand? It tastes good. It tastes real good. Me can't stop. Consume. May I tell you, Chuck? Yeah, them spoil fast. Look on the inside, look on the inside. Eh? Look, look, look at me survive through there. Look at the inside, look, and the outside brown and pretty. <laughs> you see? May I tell you? Look at them pretty. Mmm. Mmm. So, nobody don't nobody no want the butter bean in there then. May I leave out the butter bean now, star? No, what's the butter bean? Nobody don't vote in the butter bean, so. Butter bean get, get left out of the dish. Mm -hmm. That's how we do a thing, man. We now, we now, of course, nothing in there something with the people in the land. No butter bean. See? Try that say no butter bean. Where butter bean I go? Good morning, Lala. Lala in the house. For a lot of you in the house. Hey. Good morning, Lashawn. Good morning to you. Lashawn, you have to try that one there. The new lick, which is the wife's sweet corn dumpling. Mm -hmm. It's just taking the whole world by surprise right now. Mm -hmm. It tastes good in the babes. Mm -hmm. Maybe I try a long time in the dumpling. Maybe I'm hungry, I'm hungry. <laughs> but me, I tell you, it tastes good. Not eating Shelly Belly General. I will eat some of the, some of the dumpling there. Hold on, so, so hold on. Hold on, vibes. You know, you know, eat, you know, eat um, tin mackerel. Mackerel and cherry belly? I mean, no, yeah, man. Because Mr. Vibes have some different language, you know. He won't talk the way he's talking. Nobody not talk to Mr. Vibes, you know. You understand? Mr. Vibes only eat real fish. That means we have to go make some kalaloo for Mr. Vibes, then. I'll go make some kalaloo. No, watch no face. So I make up some kalaloo for you. Don't say nothing at all, Pablo. <laughs> you see me? <laughs> all right. So, can I get a pot, please? Can I get a pot, I'm so ready for my, for my um, thing going, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come over here, so I'll show the, show the world what's going on. Them dumplings are ready for going in. My feet said them need for going in. Yeah, but more, all of them go in one time, because more of them... Shemaine, good morning to you. Official Jamia, good morning. Official. Clear M, good morning, Clear M. Clear. All of Una out there. This morning we're making corn dumplings, sweet corn dumplings. See there? Debbie Downer, good morning to you. And it's just, again, the dough is relatively the same that the Queen always make. And this morning we just added some frozen, the, the, you know, the previously frozen sweet corn. The one from the can, I would not add that. And let me tell you why I wouldn't add the one, the sweet corn from the can. The can sweet corn is too wet. Mm -hmm. Unless you're going to put it to drain overnight over a strainer or whatever you're going to do to try and minimize that excessive amount of, um, what you call it, moisture that is in the can one. Because through it cook, the, the, one in the, in the, the one that is frozen just flash frozen. You see me? So it's raw corn really flash frozen. The one in the can cook in order to preserve it. So it, it absorbs a lot of the, the water. So I wouldn't use that one there. You see me? You know? So 
But them dumpling here, uh, them, them is life right now. And I tell you the truth, them are, them are going like they want to take over the whole kitchen. Yeah, see them there? These are the tester ones. And the tester ones were officially mined. They were declared mine. Mm -hmm. You know? I remember, guys, me coming on this afternoon on radio at 5 p.m. for Vitamin B, the Vitamin B show. Yeah? On Caribbean Radio HD2.com. So remember to check that out. Caribbean Radio HD2.com at 5 p.m. All right, the vitamin B show. We are talking about health. We are talking about wellness. We are talking about nutrition. May I come here? Nutrition and all these things. And we have like a music where we play on them Saturday. You know, to make it nice. Watch your man. I got you, B. No, I don't. Okay, you know, man. Remember, say you know. You, remember, say this man in your you, you dash of the cooking the, the, the flour, you know. So, I just, I just tell you, say you dash of the flour. I just have to remind you. Stay humble, because you dash of the flour this morning. Let me spin them. You understand? Because then everybody, not everybody, dash your flower. You see me? Guys, I have to remind you. This is going to be on the agenda for about two weeks. The dash your flower story. Okay. Yeah, man. Just, you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the day know, two years ago true. where the wifey dash your flower. Yeah, I have to remind you. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> sure, it's a charev. <laughs> But sure, sure, these occasions happen once in a lifetime. Where the flower, well, on, my girl, mm -hmm. you have, you're onto something right there, so now you make long spinners looking one. Mm -hmm. Well, on, man. Mine, you know. And guys, if you, they say the corn them um, drop off like this, you just scoop them up and throw them in the, in the bowl because they're nice. The fry corn. And you know, say so the Mexican them do a fry corn, babes. Yeah. See, yeah, sweet corn just like this and then deep fry it. And then put like mayonnaise and some dressing thing on it and, oh. and it, it tastes good. Oh. So I'm just taking out all the fry corn because waste not want not. And the Lord said, thou shall save the fry corn into thy plate. You never hear about it? No. Yeah, man. Um, which, which scripture? John chapter 49 verse 82 and Jesus said let thou save thy fry corn and save them into thy pot <laughs> Enram she said Enram says a lot of dumpling you know but you want to know Enram between me and you know, one of our friends have a birthday today Happy birthday! So to one of our me. viewers and them in close proximity it's not to a us. Viewers, it's my friend. Oh, is that? Is not a viewer. Not she not viewer. view. She's just a friend. She's not a viewer. She's just a friend. She's a viewer and a friend and a sister. And a sister and a, and a cousin. And so this one decides that she are gonna make fry dumpling and deliver with with tin mackerel for the birthday of celebration. Hey, mackerel we have a mackerel she get. You understand? She not get nothing else. You understand? So that's why she making extra. You have make L O V E. You have make a L O V E um dumpling. Make a V you now and a E. Oh sorry. <laughs> make S I S sister. S I M Sim. Oh. Guys, look for what go on. See how the dumpling them come up? Them looking very ostentatious. These dumplings look very intelligent. They look like it's a foreign dumpling that come down on a spaceship and say, take me to your leader. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, sir. These can take out now? No. But these are very nice, guys. I, I, we tried them and it's worth trying. It's worth making because it does... It does um, change the complexity of the, the regular, just regular so-so flour dumpling, you know. Uh, we have had dumplings in, in many different ways in this house, you see me. So this one is not a bad one, and it looks very nice too, you know. I'm just waiting on her to finish um, doing, the, the, doing the shaping, and then I'm going to start on the tin mackerel, because the mackerel, you know, is the staff of life. Only Mr. Blair alone me ever hear say no like mackerel. 
who else in the world don't like, don't like Tim McQueen? <laughs> Let me see who I follow Mr. Blair and say they don't like Tim McQueen too. When you don't follow him, don't make the devil confound you. Because I know you don't like mackerel. Some people, as soon as they reach foreign, they stop eating mackerel. But the Lord shall add iniquity to uno iniquity. Because when you used to go down a shop, go buy no mackerel. But all of a sudden, when you land a foreign, when you don't eat mackerel again. Who, mackerel? Who? No, I don't eat those things. Oh no, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Tanya says she not eat it. Tanya, I'm going to ask Eddie to confirm. Just have a confirm with your husband because me know. You Why? understand? I'm going to try the Jack Mackerel. The Jack Mackerel is better than the Jill Mackerel. <laughs> I'm going to ask Eddie to confirm because Eddie not lie to me. You understand? And true, Tanya lives in a, in a bashment neighborhood now. Mm -hmm. She don't want nobody to smell the Mackerel oh. keep over the fair yard. You understand? Because oh. in that neighborhood, People only oh. eat lasagna and steak, but if the mackerel go turn up now. Okay, no, you can't hide the mackerel smell. You can't hide the mackerel smell. No, so. me, no me understand. And then Sherry might not eat. Sherry eat mackerel. And through Vibes Boss live at West Palm Beach, he yeah. want to impress the girls them. They haven't seen mackerel and get ill. Went to the doctor with a $20 bill. He gave me some pill, but we couldn't help still. Next time we have the one from the barrel. Claire said it pies now when she did little. That was then. This is Me now. Maybe said that, that mackerel. Check the brand. Check the brand, clear. You understand? Because you have pies of mackerel at Jamaica. Yeah? Um, but in foreign, the brand where we use is... This is a Jamaica mackerel. Yeah, maybe I said at the real brand, the real Jamaican brand we use at foreign. So it's not really, you understand? We don't eat, drink, eat the one with say Mendix and them something. Yeah, we don't eat them at a different <laughs> foreign company brand with Spanish brand and them something. We use the real Jamaican brand. So check the brand um, clear because maybe you are heated something that is not mackerel. Maybe you heated snake. I find this man, this stuff like when somebody face bumpy. This one is loaded with corn. So hold on, let me ask a question. Are there people out there who eat mackerel but who eat sardine but not mackerel? Oh, of course. Are you serious? M some people look on sardine like a delicacy. A holy what in easily? Mm-hmm. No, sir. Mm -hmm. This is strange. A lot of other strange. cultures don't that don't eat mackerel eat sardines, you know that, right? I mean, I know of no other culture when I eat mackerel well. Yeah man. The US people them not eat it, they give it to their puppies. A lot of white people eat sardines. Yeah, yeah, and and even. But I don't even, know if it's American white people or is European. European, or, European, oh, and okay. and uh, Middle Eastern people oh, okay. love sardines. Yeah. With lime and all them something there with a splash of lime and with you know capers and all these things you know mm -hmm. added. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I I personally don't eat sardine because I'm not. That's not you true, know? guys. He, he tears up sardine. Wow. My girl, you never have to throw me under the bus like that. You, you, know? you tear up sardine. Oh. You never have to throw me under the bus. You could have just said, he heat it sometime. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I love both. -E really? Okay. <laughs> Vibes, it's Shelly. Me not eat, brother. When you say the dumpling, Shelly. <laughs> Give me the dumplings alone, not Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> and the car take it out. The car take them in a man. <laughs> well, boss, don't eat Shelly. Him eat dumplings. Okay? And him eat mackerel. Aye, uh, sir. Because <laughs> I know some Jamaican man, them like them mackerel. So I say, wait. Now, what I go on? Now, what I go on? All right, we are get to the get. Dumplings, guys, this is always the aim to get the, the dumplings to look golden brown. And so it's important to make sure the fire is not too high because if it's too high, as soon as you put them in, them just get dark and then inside not cooked. You have to sing the song, if it's too high, Lord, the dumpling of the brown. It's a good brown. <laughs> the dumpling of the brown. 
It I go proud. If it's too high, Lord, turn the fire down. Turn it down. If it's too hungry, then the dumpling I go burn and the corn I go bitter. If it's too high, Lord, bring it down. Bring it down. Turn it down. Me here, um, Shirley Willis on the radio this morning. She's such a nice lady. Mm -hmm. From Grace Chillers. Mm -hmm. Celebrating 50 years in ministry. Can you Grace that? Chillers need to do a reunion concert and just drop all of them hits, like back to back hits. Me that, me that going at it. Me that sing with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know me can't sing. You understand? Only brother Gary alone says me can't sing, but me know me can't sing. You see me? Oui. <laughs> When me hold a tune, but hold a full tune. All right, babes, you want to show what I want over here? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so over on the next stove. And please don't say me, me no wait. Guys, As me, usual, he can never you, wait for the thing to get hot. I don't like, I don't fry me, fry things, you know, me. I saute me, saute things, you know. I don't really like fry up things because when you fry up things, it no hundred, you see me? It was after us. So guys, I have here some oil and I, I, I need to show you guys this oil that I made. It's a flavored oil. All right. We never hear that brand before. Um, Enram. Imse tried it. King Oscar one. Yeah, King Oscar is out there. This is flavored oil. It have wool lipa, you know, um, herbs and something in there. And I just throw some in of that. And, and guys, this is a nice way to make your cooking oil, you know, flavorable and thing and thing and thing. So we just put it in there. The garlic, the onion and, and a little bit of jalapeno. Now I put in the garlic. You guys can see his pot, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, she can can see the pot. And you just want the onions to get translucent. You hear that big word you see? Mm -hmm. Translucent. Guys, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We thank every single one of you for subscribing. Share it with your friends. Make them come over to Yard Belly TV because we are going places mm -hmm. and we are carrying a with we. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, share. Yeah, you just said share. Mm -hmm. share, 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 share. Sharing is caring. Yeah. And sharing. With clearing. <laughs> How we know? Clearing. And daring. And now I'm, I'm putting in my onion garlic. His miracle seasoning, guys. Mm -hmm. Onion and hear me. Ginger, turmeric, garlic, onion, and everything. And them sort of it. Alright, we can take out these now. And when you're when you're cooking seasoning, the most one of the most important thing that we need to know is that there is a time for for us to make the, the pot super high, like when you're doing flash frying or when you're doing um, stir frying. But then there are also times when you don't need the, the stove to be as hot as it, you know, like burning, piping hot. Sometimes you just need it to be nice, and you're not doing it stick. You want me to take them off here? Mm -hmm. You sure? Because mm -hmm. my girl, you know why you're boring, you know? <laughs> Not only the mix up for today. Nice. So my onion them look now. Now some people pull them mackerel and take out and clean up and all those things. Ma the vast majority of people just throw the mackerel from the team. So we are working with the vast majority of people this morning. Some people say, no, you have to clean up your mackerel and take out this and take out that. Yeah, we don't really have to. All right. And if you're a female, eat the mackerel bone because it has a lot of iron. Calcium. Calcium, rather. Whether well, female or no female, calcium is good to prevent osteoporosis. Yeah. And mackerel is good in omega-3, fish oils, and fatty acid 
fattish fish fat or whatever it was name. You know, so it good pair. Now once me do this, normally what I do now is I just allow it to cook a little bit like such before I open it and break it apart because you don't want to you don't want mackerel mush. Alright? You don't want mackerel mush, you want it to be nice and you know doing its thing. So just watch it a little bit like such. I'm going to add back my rest of my jalapenos. Which one is your tickle? Do you have to go that? Because I'm going to just use my hand and take it out for you. Because it means a boy where I'm helpful. You understand? No, but, no, but you have to understand me. I am, I am that type of person. I'm just very skilled. <laughs> it burned me still, but I'm not saying that. Nice, sir. Now I have my tomatoes. Add in my tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes is always a plus. It's almost. You need to crush Grace Kennedy for some sponsorship. Rush. They're they not rush. paying me attention. They're not paying me no attention by, by the boss. That was, you need to do it again. Every time I, I link them and I see them around and I talk and everything. Yeah, but the people them around now have no clout. You need to go to the real source. I am going I'm to sorry, play. I'm sorry. Eh? Are you saying me need to or we need to? We. We. Okay. We. Because we are doing thing. We are doing thing. It, it, Grace needs to recognize. They need to recognize. Alright, see that? So now you just take a, you just take a, a knife, a, a fork, and you're just going to open your mackerel. Alright? And you don't break, not, not break up your mackerel too quick, because the cooking process will do some of the breaking up. You see me? Just open your mackerel so it's, it, 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 it can serve. You see me? People don't want mackerel mush. They want nice pieces of mackerel in rich tomato sauce don't be it mm -hmm. tomato sauce good morning monique good morning to you just getting on taking a quick work break cooking looks good this morning yeah thank you monique thank you girl yeah and some people some people go as far as to try scrape off the mackerel the, 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 the silver skin off of the mackerel and all those things they're you know, absolutely necessary these things are preferences and so when somebody not do it, you don't have to rush them. And say, boy, the mackerel don't look good because you don't do this and you don't do that. Don't, please. Don't leave the people them alone. Alright. The next thing I'm going to add now is some flavorings. Alright. Let me turn this all the way down. And I'm adding some garlic powder. I always add garlic powder, guys. Bear with me. I'm gonna add some onion powder, just a little bit. And I have a 21 season salute from Trader Joe's that I'm adding, and this is really just crushed and dried seasonings. And just a little bit of cumin, just a little bit. Cumin is, is one of the, the ingredients that is vital if you, if you look for Eastern um the eastern world over in arabia and over them place they run at them part there them use these ingredients on a daily basis this is a little fish seasoning and that's it no need for animal you want paprika look at oh. paprika yeah yeah from what marrakesh about, what about country pepper country pepper is it what on my band when i really I really focus on the country mm -hmm. pepper mm -hmm. and the kingstonian you understand mm -hmm. And then where the where the sugar is. Over here. You need ketchup? Yeah. You know say you say you know. You don't need the ketchup you know, you just want it. <laughs> but you don't need it. <laughs> Let me shake all that ketchup back here. I would not waste nothing. Yeah, you know. I put two cloves in it. Two cloves at our cloves. Oh. Oh cloves. Put some ketchup. Yeah? Alright. Old clove, old clove. May I find the old clove and squeeze them up in it because you know old clove is the staff of life. Right? 
Babes, why you always move my old clothes them to a different point? You never know. Don't move my old clothes them. This is my my um my lifeline. See there? One, two, three. Old clothes. Thank you. Right. And then them, some cilantro. Some cilantro drizzle over it like such. All right. And I, I eat that you know. I eat that you know. Just make this stay down from the low this one all. Oh the country pepper. Let me just clean off the edge. I'm always doing this. I don't know why. Whenever I'm cooking babes, I always try to clean off the edge of the pot. I don't know why. It's just my little pet peeve. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody mm -hmm. have their own little style. Mm -hmm. Country pepper, me say country pepper. La da da da, me say country pepper. Country pepper, I me say country pepper. Oh Lord, me say country pepper. And I keep my country pepper in the freezer, guys. So we have them for long and it also, because the wife is not really into the pepper like that, it also reduces the intensity. We can stop now, babes. I put more. I think we should have put more, just keep on putting. But now, you have to tell me now. Yeah, you see what she now talk, guys? Wow. Go on here, I'm in a yellow. And now I'm going to put some, some butter and just finish it up. A little butter to just finish it up. And that's it. The tin mackerel are done. See that? Just go back now and make it just steady and permeate. And that's my new word, you know, guys. Permeate. Telling Scotch by the pepper, then it says every fish meal must be cooked with enough pepper. Bad boss, that you know, see. Mm -hmm. I say, I went to the West Farm and he broke cook now. I know you can't eat it in a bit. Because one vibe boss, I'll put up the food. My one would have to cook different vibe boss because you can't manage. <laughs> can't manage. Can't manage. Then the pepper there. And that is, oh, I have one last thing to add. Well, we never, why well, never tell me? Hmm? Well, oh, the skeleton is a must. Yeah. Skeleton. Skeleton is a must. I have a little like skeleton and the green, the green way. See, that make mackerel turn up. Yeah. All right. So time now to put out the plate, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so dumpling is over. It's over, it's over. Oops! Hey, I'm not going to edit up in things with you this morning, my <laughs> girl. Come by here, my lord. Come by here. I don't know what kind of drugs you have, so. All right, guys. <clears throat> All right. So in the meantime. In between time. In between time. All right, guys. So while we get the the the, the, the setting or the stage ready for the plating of the feud. The who? The feud. These are gonna go in the dishwasher, don't worry about them. All right guys, so, 
Green Valley One Day Detox is what it's about right about now. What did I say? Green Valley One Day Detox. Repeat. Green Valley One Day Detox. Green Valley One Day Detox. It, guys, don't worry. The food is coming up. See? Look. Look. It's coming up. Yes, it's coming right up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, but until he plates it, let me tell you guys about the Green Valley Cleanser One Day Detox, which is a powerhouse product, a herbal supplement, one that you take to cleanse your bowels, to I'm clean out your done. system, to reboot the digestive system. And by the way, listen to Yardy Belly TV on the radio as he talks about amazing health tips for you guys to learn from all right so the green valley detox is a one day detox like i said before that you take all at once so this is a one drink eight wonder <laughs> yeah, a eight ounce one drink wonder and you just drink it all down in order to get the the bowels kick started and once it's kick started it will be kicking a styrofoam. No? <laughs> <laughs> so this will take you to the bathroom, guys. And until everything that doesn't belong in the stomach is gone, you will be, you know, making multiple trips, you know, much to your benefit. Because mm -hmm. all of these undigestive food that just is sitting in the stomach and, and you know, just chilling on your stomach walls, they need to go. Amen. And Hallelujah. this product will do exactly that. But guess what? It will do it in a safe way, you know. It's a blend of um, a, a, a whole plethora of herbs. When we ever sell a lot of many cost bad one, you know. Tanya, shout out to you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a blend of uh, herbs, you know. Yeah, it's just water with God's green um, goodness. You have moringa, you have dandelion, king of the forest, sour sap leaf, guinea hen weed, jack in the bush. We have our inflammation weed. We have leaf of life, aloe vera, tuna, which is prickly pear, garlic, vervain, and star of anise, and cinnamon. So we see that it's all natural ingredients, nothing that is unfamiliar to you, no ingredients that you cannot pronounce. You are confident and you feel assured that everything that is going inside of your body in this, um, this mixture, this supplement is good for, you. good for you. And so how can you get it, you ask? Yeah. Just send us a text at 305-204-1270. That's 305-204-1270. This will clean your system. Clean your system. Clean your system. It will reboot your system. Reboot your system. Reboot your system. It will give you energy. And it will, you know, just give you a whole um kickstart for a healthier journey if you want to you know kickstart a weight loss journey whatever you're looking for this product will get your body right it boosts energy yes it it helps if you have a poor diet it helps to alleviate body odor of course if you get rid of that it, it won't sweat through your pores again um it helps with pain in the chest and the stomach helps to cleanse your lungs, kidney, liver, and it's also used to burn belly fat and more. So, guys, get your hand on one of these. We are getting orders constantly. And so, you know, get on board. Get on board. Train all your children. Get on board. Oh, the so Valley. Good. It looks good. All right. And guys, in addition to that, you know, while you're thinking about your physical health for your body, you have to think about, you know, the, the health of your skin and your hair also. You, you know, the skin is the biggest organ on the body. And so you do not want, you know, to neglect it. And the hair, of course, is especially for my females, your hair is your beauty, you know. And um, yeah, we have to keep it healthy. And we are all, you know, in the vein of going natural now the chemicals have to go the chemicals have to take a back seat and so we have to find ways of preserving our natural hair making it healthier and just pretty much making the experience of maintaining and caring for our natural hair you know just an easier one and so one true natural which is our product line will help to do that for you guys yes our one true natural nourishing oil blend 
called Shine of Mine will do it for you. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a male, a female, a boy, or a girl. Or a honeymoon. Or a honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, I think you can go on your cat's here to make it look shiny. Mm -hmm. Right, so yeah, One True Natural Shine of Mine is a blend of amazing oil, all natural ingredients. Some of the very best, like your grapeseed, your avocado, your Jamaican black castor oil, and a blend of secret blend of essential oils and most importantly lots of love right mm -hmm. this was you know handmade by us yes you know formulated by us packaged by us the whole thing is by us and so yeah you have to have to have to even if you don't want to buy it because when i think when i need it buy it because i'm a lovely <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we have our Jamaican black castor oil. Yes, this was grown, reaped, extracted, cold pressed, and you know, produced wholesale in Jamaica, sent to us, and then we retail it for you guys. This is a real deal, nothing else added, like 100% natural, salt free, hexian free, no, no kind of um um poisonous ingredients or Poison no chemicals <laughs> nothing in this other than your castor oil <laughs> say nothing again nothing other than your castor oil your straight castor oil take it from me or do the experiment go to your beauty supply store take up a bottle of jamaican black castor oil or what they claim to be jamaican black, black castor oil and just look at the back on the ingredients and i guarantee you nine out of ten times you will see other oils blended in it's not pure or straight to make a black castor oil so this here is the real deal so if you have issues with your hair growing or if you want it to be thicker or softer oh my god jamaican black castor what, oil what, what makes your hair no man this is this oil i can put my neck on the block don't put it this oil makes your hair soft so we have to be the people that are soft. And so for my fellow naturals out there, that is one of the biggest struggle that we go through, keeping our hair, you know, moisturized. And so I can tell you without the shadow of a doubt, this is your answer. So receive it. And of course, we just started skincare. So we have some handmade soaps. You guys can see the imperfections, which is the proof of how authentic they are the fact that they're um handmade yes not made and cut in a factory yes and these are just two of the four flavors that we have or the scents this is activated charcoal and turmeric mm -hmm. we have eucalyptus mint we have one of our top sellers being um sea moss and turmeric and we also have lemongrass yes and last but by no means least we have this product yes genius product for the brows and the lashes if you have issues with making your brows thicker or your lashes longer try I this them off on one and grow back. yeah try this try our castor oil mascara which is just a, a low grade um blend low grade roast of castor oil making it safer for your brows and your lashes and it will trust me this will do the trick for you how do you get these products you might ask again visit our website at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural it's already there in the chat or you can also if you wish you can also shoot us a text if you prefer to do it that route if, if you don't want to you know order from the website you can you know just reach out to us directly and we can you know receive the payment and ship them out for you like that 305-204-1270 yeah thank you guys you have been wonderful and now it's time for the feud wait it's a mess of wait don't come here <laughs> Get on board, get on board, all the children. Get on board, the church of God. <laughs> Pretty soon, the saints to believe. We right, are yeah, going to be I with the Lord. Can't buy that no more. I'm, I'm, I've give up the ghost. All right, guys. So, 
The food is ready. That look good. There you go, guys. There is our finished dish, our canned mackerel, yeah, with our sweet corn dumplings. How it look? Yeah. It look like something I keep. Nice. Mm -hmm. Tell me how it look, guys. Yeah. And that is our presentation for today. Mm. And we do hope that you would try this in your neck of the woods. You know, wait a minute, let me see if I can fix this camera. Bear with me. Showing up from the Anglia. Showing up from that Donna, so the food look good. Just add salt to them plate there. <laughs> 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 the the birthday recipient can get dinner or something. That a, that a Paula Villa, uh, Mr. Vibes. <laughs> Yeah, man, see there? Look on that. Look on that, guys. Look on that. Yeah, man, I say you have to do it sometime. You have to set up the thing and, and make the thing right. You see me? And make yeah. yourself eat a good little breakfast and say, yeah. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. You see me? And, guys, you can have your, your corn dumpling with almost, okay. with almost anything. You know, you can get your little corn dumpling with almost anything. These corn dumplings are a buzz. Eh? Mama buzz. They're mama buzz, yes, man. I'm going to put that in my cookbook. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trust me. Mm-hmm. 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 the craving dance. The craving dance, me not eat, or you eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guys, make gear, make sure gear on one, one plate. Come, I have a sample in that. This is the sample plate I go. This is gonna be my breakfast for mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the For real? Yes. You want fuck? That would be nice, you know. You know, so very show up. <laughs> God blesses me to our bodies. Thanks for providing for our every need. Pray that it will bring nourishment in Jesus. Hot color low burned up. Hmm. Holly hoo ha. I can't say any about what? That's a sin. What? Black pepper. Very nice. But there is some in the color. Mmm. It's nice, babe. You like it? Mmm. -hmm. It's nice. Oh my gosh. For real, for real? Mm -hmm. Can I get a squeeze of lime? You have extra lime? May I sell lime? Five dollar slice. This is good. Five dollar slice with lime. I think it does. It's good. <laughs> That's it, you know. <laughs> Me not give you nothing more for the rest of the day, you know, my girl. Can you look like you have dropsy? Yeah. No, man. What's going on with you? I got all the way up so far. No, sister. Extra. Ma, ma I pray about you. Give me more. I pray for you. I tell you, Tanya, we need Tanya, please. I'm going to pray for you. Wait, no, no, no. Mm. Dip that dumpling in the gravy. Dip that gravy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest, vibes, boss. Could I take a little bit more pepper? Because the pepper now keeps me. Wow. For real? For real? Yeah. Mm-mm. I'm think about you. That's why I'm not over pepper it, you know. The girl dash with the lime. She dash with the flower. Now she dash with the lime. Mm-mm. Guys, you have to just try something sometimes and, and, and pray for the best, so it work out. You know? You're not happy. Do things the same way all the time. Mm -hmm. See something I see you can use the pepper. Iguana, radioactive, atomic pepper sauce. Can I get a drink of something? 
You want that drink or something? This is my. Can I give some of this? Um, become I'm sorry for you. Just become I'm sorry for you, my dear friend. Because you drop everything. I forget the ice, though. You don't need the ice. Guys, this is I'm my. Kidding. I need the ice, but I don't want to get in trouble. This is my pineapple. Pineapple um, ginger. Pineapple skin drink. I always make it. Yeah, see there? Look there. And this one have little um wet in the night. This this one have seriously in it. Oh. Yeah, see there? Pineapple skin and ginger. Next level. With seriously. Taste it and tell me, babes. I know me, me I pull a stunt, you know. If it work out, me I go, me I go start sell it. Okay. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Smell like seriously? No. Smell like <laughs> I don't want it bitter. It's nice. Tastes good, huh? Tastes really nice with a little beer. With a little what? Yeah. Beer? You know, some people talk to pasta about you, right? That's good, make a nice shandy. No, I, I think you need to go to the altar. Me, it's a beer, you know? He said beer. Look what he's up for. Hmm. Nobody not see that a while ago. Nobody not see that. Vice you never see that a while ago, right? You never see that a while ago. Anybody type in and tell mommy just throw a while ago, win a dumpling. <laughs> win themselves an extra dumpling. With free shipping. <laughs> Let me stir this, yeah. You definitely are gonna need the ice now, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she ain't no mind. This is not my breakfast. <laughs> Need more. <laughs> Need more. <laughs> Clear, man. <laughs> Clear silica J. <laughs> w R. I need these. Hi, God. Drop two piece ice cube cup in a label. <laughs> the labeled water bottle. <laughs> Vice Master, the labeled water bottle. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, sir. Your yeah, breakfast is over now. Mm -hmm. Our birthday girl will, will really, really enjoy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Killer mosquito. Woo, he harsh your hammer. Mm -hmm. Squeeze the little lime in it, you know? Yeah, because when you put the, when you put the, the J, you have to touch the little lime. See, no, no spinning, because you have to dash away. Remember, see, you have to dash your program this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony T. Clark said, I see the rain, but I couldn't read the rest. <laughs> A good thing you couldn't read the rest, Anthony. God bless you. <laughs> So how it tastes now? Good. Remember, see, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to tip it, you know? But see, ya? I'll tip it. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, well, man, because you got going hard. <laughs> mm mm. I taste the little, the little, the little, um, seriously, man. Really? Yeah, man, you know, taste a little bit richness down at the end, so. One little bit of down there, man. One little bitrish miss down there, bitrish. You know, say Jamaican, I don't say. My girl, stop stir the cup. Stop stir the cup. Those who came for the food, let me just show you one more um, time. This is our finished plate. Blessings here, sir. Respect vice boss. Let me show you the finished plate. This is our grey tin mackerel. And me just finish it up with my um, flavored oil with a little bit of um, uh, uh, olives and some skellion. You know, and nice it up and make it look good. The fried dumpling is a sweet corn fried dumpling. Yeah. The wife went all out this morning with the sweet corn fried dumpling. See them there? And them look good. Me I tell you guys, them really shelled on the whole of foreign this morning. Yeah, the sweet corn fried dumpling is the is a winner in my book. 
You see me? See them here? These, these were the testers. Let me open one up. Let me open it up and make on a scene of it. Look here. Look how inside it look with the sweet corn and thing and thing. It's just really nice, guys. So, this one is for a winner. All right? Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah, the Belly TV is doing its thing. We we'll see you a little bit later on on the radio. Caribbean Radio HD. At 5 p.m., the program is called Vitamin B. Caribbean Radio HD. Once again, CaribbeanRadioHD.com. Once again, let me give you the fullness. CaribbeanRadioHD2.com. All right? CaribbeanRadioHD2.com at 5 p.m. for Vitamin B. Blessings to each and everyone. May your storehouse and your basket continue to run over. May the Lord continue to keep you safe. And may God just watch over on us as you go about on a day. Manners and respect to each and everyone. Have yourself an awesome day. Yard the Belly TV says so. It looks so good. Loving the mackerel. And the mackerel love you back. Mm -hmm. It's so good, yeah. Loving tin mackerel and mackerel love you back. Yeah. Feels so good to know that you're loving tin mackerel and the mackerel love you back. That's fine. <laughs> Bye, Talia. <laughs>